Hey guys, welcome to my video where I'm going to be showing you how to um, install CyanogenMod 10.1 on your Verizon um, Samsung Galaxy S4. So we're going to be getting into it right now. Alright guys, so the first step is to uh, download Goo Manager. You can find it in the Play Store and you need root access to use it and have it. Um, so make sure you have Goo Manager. And then you're going to open it and it's going to ask for a Super SU uh, request and it's going to have a timeout thing. Make sure you grant it. Uh, that's going to make it, you know, granted super user permissions. So basically it can access any part of the phone all the way down to the root folder. Um, so you're going to want to let's search. We need a recovery in order to install a ROM. So we're going to download TeamWin Recovery Project, which is twerp. And I've used this one in the past, I believe. So you're going to hit begin download. And, uh, and it'll make you wait. But basically the recovery is going to let you wipe the entire phone and then also flash a new flash the ROM on uh, to the phone. So you're downloading, your download is starting. So you can hit the back button back again and then it will, it doesn't seem like it, well, never mind. But, uh, okay, it'll be somewhere. And then um, after that is done, we are going to, I'm going to do a search for something. Oops. How's this browse compatible ROMs? We'll go to Cyanogen Mod, which is what I am going to be using on my phone. And let's see. All of these are about the same, I guess. Uh, we'll just choose this one. And we're going to begin the download. So this is what the actual ROM is going to be. Um, I'm using Cyanogen Mod, you know, 10.1. So five seconds left. <laughs> and then the download is starting I guess and then you want also to download G apps this is your stock Google apps like Google Chrome, Google Maps, Gmail stuff like that, it's like the Google package um, I guess to put that in perspective it's like Samsung has like their Samsung apps and it's all their S Note and calendar and all that crap that clogs up your phone to begin with so that is going to start downloading. Okay, as you'll see here, this is where I was looking for. It's downloading CM 10.1 nightlies and that's out of one of two because GApps has to download and then Team Win is probably already downloaded. So I'll get you guys once that is done. Okay, so both uh, GApps and TWRP or I mean CM 10.1 downloaded and uh, apparently my um, Team Win recovery project did not start to download so I'm going to hit try to find one for me. Um, I'm going to hit yes. Okay, yes. It's going to download this. Open Recovery AT Win Recovery Project 2.6. That's the latest. Yes, and then once that's done, it's going to download and install a uh, the recovery files to my recovery of my phone. Then we're going to boot to it and flash CM10 and uh, G apps. So I would imagine. Okay, there it goes. That's what we were looking for before. So if you can get that screen to pop up, you know, before, then it's fine. You don't have to worry about what I just did. Um, another thing I want to say is that Team Win Recovery Project is your best bet. Oop, okay, for um, installing CM 10.1, I've seen problems with Clockwork Mod, um, and it won't boot and it freezes, and that's actually a real pain to get that working. So now we're going to reboot into recovery mode. So in order to do this, um, we're just going to power the phone off. And then we're going to go to recovery mode. If I remember correctly, I believe when the phone's powered off, it's... Maybe this will work. Okay, up there it says booting recovery and you want to let go. Hopefully this goes to team win screen. If not... Okay, good. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that. Team win here. Okay, now what we're going to be doing with team win uh, recovery installed is... Right now, guys, you want to back up your your rooted ROM. Um, I don't have like an SD card to do that with; just a two gigabyte one that you know stuff is installing to. Sixteen gig one's coming on the way from eBay, but I am not going to back this up. But you definitely, most likely, should. So you're gonna you, let's see. Swipe to factory reset, <laughs> and then it's going to delete everything on your phone. Um, 
And then we're going to flash CM 10.1 and then G apps. Okay, so we just wiped the data, the cache, and the Delphic. Um, now we're going to go to install. Uh, maybe download. No, we're going to go back and install. Okay, up a level. Uh, Goo Manager. Okay, 10.1. It's a zip file. Um, and swipe to confirm flash. That's going to flash the CyanogenMod 10.1 ROM to this phone. And then after, we're going to do the G apps to get our stock Google apps. Technically, you don't have to. I guess if you don't want G apps, you don't have to do it, but you should be doing it. Okay, so we've had success in flashing CM10. We're going to go home, install G apps, signed zip. Make sure we got the right one. G apps, swipe to confirm flash. This one should be, I think, a lot quicker, I'd imagine. Okay, home. Um, and now let's do a reboot. All right, now we are going to reboot the phone. So I guess that. <clears throat> now if this is all gone, uh, gone down right, we should see the cyanogen mod loading screen after this, knowing that it is preparing for its first boot. There's the animation. And, uh, and then we'll be booting into Cyanogen Mod first time. Okay, now we are booting into the first, for the first time, into Cyanogen Mod 10.1. This is, you know, stock Android look alike, basically. Um, so that's awesome. Thanks for checking this video out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more computer videos.